Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I am going to do another one of my segments of what I'm liking and not so much. And I also have a special guest. I had someone collab along with me. So if you guys would like to hear what my likes and not likes are, and also who is collabing with me, keep on watching. Okay, so today I have collabing with me Cinnamon Girl Beauty, which is Michelle. I've been watching her for a good long time now. Um, she's another one that somebody had shouted out, and I wish I could give credit to them and who shouted her out, and I can't quite remember. I feel bad whenever I do that, but I do watch a lot of videos and a lot of people, and um, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. And usually when somebody says, you know, go check this channel out, I'll go and check it out. And then, you know, it basically goes from there. I love the name Cinnamon Girl Beauty. I believe she said the reason which when you go to her channel, you'll see her hair does have that cinnamon color. So I think that's kind of why she did name, um, name her channel that. But I do believe she also loves the smell of cinnamon as, as itself. But she's such a wonderful person. I really have enjoyed watching her. She was so lucky. She was one of the people that got to go to the makeup show. I've always wanted to go to one of those kind of convention things like the makeup show IMATS or something like that. I would really, really love to go to one of those. And I hope to um, sometime in the near future go to New York. New York would be the closest for me. I mean, it would be nice if Pittsburgh my the uh, city that I'm closest to Pittsburgh it would be nice if they would do that because then it would be much more easier for me but yeah you, New York would probably be the closest one for me and she went and showed all her goodies she's just very nice to watch she has a little bit of everywhere she's high end she's low end um, I believe she even shows some luxury products. I just really enjoy watching her. She just has this very nice, bubbly, wonderful um, personality. So I'm going to put a link down below to her channel and uh, it will be to the video that she's doing. She's going to share what she's like again, maybe and not so much. So if you guys would go and please check her out, show her some love, maybe subscribe if you like and give her some thumbs up. Very much appreciate that. You will not be disappointed. She's very, very very nice person and I think you guys will be drawn in like I was. Let's go on to uh, my likes and not likes. I've, I've been trying things and I've had products sent to me that I've been trying. I had bought some products that I'm trying or redoing and trying. I haven't really had too much time in the last couple weeks to really try a lot of different things. So I didn't really seem to find anything or think could think of anything that I'm not liking. So we're just going to go ahead and go into the products that I am liking. Of course, going to start off with hair care. If you watched my last, um, not my last video, I guess my last video would be uh, my top five favorite uh, drugstore makeup brands. It's the one before that where it's like, uh, let's talk hair and everything. I was telling you guys, and I'm not going to go into full details about the company OGX and I was kind of wondering about their products if they do dry out your hair or if it was doing something to my hair because uh, Melissa Autry had talked about it with her hair and I wasn't feeling like my hair was looking up to par which again if you look at my hair now I mean if you go like I said back several videos prior before you might see what I'm talking about compared to now because uh, I just feel like my hair is looking better again and it wasn't getting I, I don't know I just can't explain it but I've always been a person that likes to rotate my products around and that's just how I always rolled and I kind of wasn't doing that kind of went off that I was using one brand but even though there were different things it was just one brand and I like to rotate myself in my whole hair things um, I'm gonna still try and use some of the products they sent me and if I continue to notice as I'm doing the rotation um, problems, then yeah, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not going to use them anymore. But I went out and I got, because I was like, hmm, after watching Melissa Autry's video. Like I said, I'll put a link to the video I did below, and then Melissa's link in that video is down below. So if you want to check all that kind of stuff out. 
but I got the Tresemme Flawless Curls Shampoo. Well, can, is that, that's the conditioner. This is the shampoo. Shampoo's always in the black. And these are pretty big bottles. I don't know. It's so funny how in my house, I always have the, the sunk in um, conditioner bottle. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess it's the way we squeeze it out, or I don't know. Maybe everybody else has that, but I did get the uh, Flawless Curls as a curl hydration for curly or wavy hair. It has uh, with the vitamin B1 in there. Now, of course, with Tresemme, I always notice the smell always has the same scent. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, or if you're like me, you sniff all the shampoos and everything when you're in a store even, but they all smell the same to me, so it has that uh, typical smell that you smell from Tresme, but I do like Tresme. I do, I haven't had, the only things I've never really had a good thing with Tresme is their styling products. Their styling products for me are hit and miss. A lot of them are more misses than hits though, uh, but their shampoos and conditioners I've had good luck with. So this is Flawless Curl. So if you're somebody who has curly hair or wavy hair, you might want to try these. I think it worked really good for me. It did seem to liven up my hair a little bit more, and yeah. Um, another product, which uh, this is a rebuy, I have always loved this line whenever I first found it, and it was the Got To Be Kinkier. This is the Double Curling Power Curling Mousse. It's a gloss and defined curling mousse. Uh, the package is a little bit different, but not too much, but I love this mousse. It's actually from Schwarzkopf, which I know they have another kind of a line out right now, but I love their Got To Be line and the Got To Be Kinkier for curly hair. My favorite things has always been this mousse and the curl cream. For some reason you can't find the curl cream. I did not like the spray gel. That was a flop for me. I didn't like that one, but the mousse and the curl cream. Love that stuff. It's just a little bit of a different packaging, but I've always liked this mousse. So my hair just feels really soft and healthy. <laughs> it feels good. So yeah, I like the Got To Be line, the kinkier for curly hair, and that was a repurchase. For skincare, I do have some products I'm using right now that a company had sent to me, and I'm doing some research on them. So um, try to get a little more detailed information. So might review on them, or they might end up being in one of these videos, and I can give you a little in a little information. I'm not sure which way I'm going to do that yet, but um, the body shop, they had sent me some of those masks I was telling you guys about. And I don't believe I showed this in my what I'm liking and not so much yet. I know I showed one of them, but I'm not sure if I showed any more since then. I don't know. If I did, then you know I really like this one because if it's a reshow. But this is the uh, Ethio Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. It's the honey mask one. This one threw me for a loop. Like it literally looks like honey, like, you know, honey and everything. Um, it just has a natural <clears throat> scent. I don't find it like a scent that's like, mm, it smells great or lovely. It's, but it's not a scent that I find that it's like, oh, yuck, you know. So yeah, it looks like honey. And I was thought, oh my goodness, putting that on my skin is going to be interesting. So I put it on and you usually leave these on for 10 minutes. And this one knocked me for a loop. If you have dry skin, if you're suffering from dry skin, if your combination of dry skin, nor normal to dry or something like that, this is going to be a mask you're going to want to try, especially with right now with the when the changing of the weather and when it gets more colder my skin gets more dry I have the worst time with my skin sometimes at this point this here was extremely soothing and pampering I just I loved it my skin looked glowy felt so smooth this I just threw me for a loop I mean I've used pretty much all of them now and I'm slowly working in doing my video because I'm going to do a review on each one of them and tell you what, like a little more about them and stuff and what my thoughts are. But yeah, you're already going to know there's two of them that I'm really liking and I had to put it out there. And it's the Ethiopian Honey 
uh, deep nourishing mask. On to makeup, I have the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I've been using this lately a little bit. It doesn't give a full coverage. It's kind of more light to medium coverage. It is buildable if you'd like. I, I usually am not the person that likes to put on foundation and then build it up. I usually put one layer, that's it, usually. Once in a while, maybe, but very seldom. I don't really like doing that too much. I just me, it's my preference. I just, I don't really like doing that. This one, mine's in Shell. Now, if you forget the Nearly Naked Foundation from Revlon, I would say go a shade down to normally what you would get because it, it does oxidize. So I would go down a shade, but it's a really nice foundation. It looks very natural. It's worth a try, um, you know, if you guys want to. Okay, and then we're going to go right into some lip products that I've been using, which um, the color that I have on right now. I wanted to try some other lip pencils from in the drugstore. I do really like the, the Rimmel um, lip pencils a lot. I wouldn't mind trying the uh, NYX ones and a couple other ones. I do hear a lot of good things about their lip pencils. This one's from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl one. Right there it is. And this is the Lip Perfection CoverGirl and it is in Beloved. 225 two, Beloved. And it's a real pretty shade. I kind of like the lip pencil. It glided on smoothly. It is of a mauve pink shade. I think I would probably get more from the CoverGirl because I do like their Lip Perfection lipsticks. They're another lipstick that I like in the drugstore. And this glided on really smooth, really nice, traced on around my lips, really nice. I, I kind of really liked it. And then uh, a Rimmel lipstick. It's the one that has this shape like this. I don't know what collection they're calling it. And then you see the crown on top. I haven't bought many from it. I have thought about getting other colors. This one's in 700 Naughty Nude. And it kind of went with the color. Now these ones have the flat top kind of lipstick like that. Like really pretty. Very pigmented. Really pretty. As you can see, yep went together perfectly well. That's what I have on today um, on my lips and I really, really like it. Uh, somebody compared this color from a MAC, a MAC shade. Not sure if that looks familiar to you that have MAC lipsticks. Someone compared it and I can't remember who it was. They said it reminded, reminded them of a MAC, a MAC shade. I think I might expand and get a couple more colors from that collection there. And then the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This one I forget because I took my thing off. Was it Devotion or something? Oh my goodness. I forgot the color of this one. <laughs> it's, but anyway, I like these. This is the only one I have and I do like them. I like the little flat doe foot applicator. And again, the pigmentation on these. I don't feel they fully dry into a matte. Um, they're very comfortable on the lips. I think I might get a couple more colors from this collection as well. And yeah, that kind of, I don't know what kind of scent that has. Definitely the Rimmel lipstick smells like watermelon. I noticed out whenever I put it on, it smells like watermelon or something. But this one, I'm not sure, but they're really nice. I think they're really good in the drugstore. Um, if you want something to dry up totally matte, you probably won't like these. If you're somebody like me that doesn't want too drying, you probably will like these ones here. So, And then last, I'm going to talk about, and I will be having a review and look and all that kind of stuff and swatches of this guy here. This was sent to me from um, Pure Cosmetics. It's the Transformation Palette. I did see it on their site and I seen the colors and everything and it caught my attention and, and I thought, oh, some of those colors look so pretty. Maybe I should get this palette. I believe it's 30, is it $32, I think? Um, but here I'll give you a little glimpse in the colors in there and stuff in this palette. People were asking me and I got compliments on my eye look in my uh, last video, the uh, top five favorite drugstore one, I got compliments and I use this palette here. 
for my eye look. So if that gives you any idea, I'm not going to do to like swatches or anything like that because I am working. I did film my video. I just have to edit it edit it. <laughs> I have to edit it and get it up and everything. And I did do a swatch fest with this. I did a look with this and my thoughts on it and all that kind of stuff. So look for that. And then lastly is my Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. I have been using this like crazy. Between these two palettes here, I have used a lot. I've used this a couple times within the week playing around with it and trying out some looks. I played with this a couple of times within through the week because like since I wasn't on within the last week so like I've been playing all around having a good old time with both these palettes playing with colors and everything and I just I do love my Lorac Mega Pro 3. As I said it's not um, a unique palette it is a lot of neutral shades in there and everything. I will put a link to my video that I did, um, I did do a swatch review and a look with this palette. I'll put that down below if you guys want to see. It's been all over on YouTube, so I'm sure maybe you have already maybe seen the swatches. That's probably the only thing. It's a challenge when you get products yourself, and especially when it's a popular product. And then some people are like, they've seen it like a bajillion zillion times of swatches of of a palette, but. I always take in consideration and I like watching from different people because I like to hear what they think of it and I still like to see the swatches because some people I've watched their swatches and it will be like a little like oh that doesn't look so great and then somebody else will be doing it and I think it's the way their lighting is you know the swatches will look so much more clear and better I could see them so much more better so I always take that in consideration but I know some people are like oh so I like to watch different people showing a very popular palette and getting an idea if whether I really want to get it or not. I don't find I watch one person and I'm going to make my choice. I watch from different people. So that's kind of what I do whenever I'm making a choice. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that very much. Do not forget to go and check out Michelle's channel, Cinnamon Girl Beauty. Please go check her out. I'll have their link down below. And like, and also, if you did like my video, please give me a thumbs up. I like that so much. It'll make me very happy. And yeah, it would help me out a lot. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, or maybe you came from uh, Michelle's channel, welcome, welcome. If you're not subscribed, maybe click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I would love to have you. And you could come and join along with us and everything. And as as always beauties just please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you guys take care i will see you then i love you guys Mwah. bye